While the world is using the fifth generation fighter jets, India is now only entering into the fifth generation developing program. But it also entered in developing sixth generation super fast fighter jets before China and Russia. According to reports, India has chosen to make a fifth generation advanced medium combat aircraft all alone under the Make in India scheme. The move might be a quantum bounce in India's bid for top innovation since it looks to find different countries over the subsequent decades. The Rafale fighter jet currently being sold to India by the France is a 4.5 generation jet. China on contrary guarantees its J-20 fighter aircraft possibly be a fifth generation jet. As per reports, DRDO of India and HAL or the Hindustan Analytical Limited of India will be engaged with making the fifth generation jet for India. The Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft program is presumably going to be a public-private program, according to Indian media reports. The primary model is going to be revealed by 2026-27. India had before pulled out of the Su-57 fifth generation jet program with Russia two years back as the program was not comfortable for India. Report states that India's cutting-edge fifth generation jet might be incorporated into Indian Air Force by 2029. That is in just nine years, which is and which will be a remarkable accomplishment for India's defense technology. In 2007, India and Russia had consented jointly to build up the fifth generation under the Sukhai Hall fifth generation fighter aircraft program. However, India pulled out of it in 2018. Indeed, there have been reports of Indian Air Force ready to line up with United Kingdom for the sixth era or the sixth generation fighter jet program called Tempest which is further advanced and will be developed than the F-22, F-35, J-20 and J-31. Reports said India had shortlisted the Euro Typhoon, which is going to be operational post-2035. Nonetheless, there is no lucidity that Indian authorities will take arrangements forward, particularly now with the decision to make the fifth generation advanced medium combat aircraft gathering momentum in India. In the race for the super fighter jet, the most important question remains what precisely is fifth generation fighter jet? The fighter jet ought to have a mix of low noticeable observable sleeve, advanced sensors, information fusion and network connectivity, all packaged with during a sonic long range and high maneuverable fighters. Lockheed characterized the F-35 being flown by the US Air Force as a result of an ideal case of fifth generation fighter aircraft. With its cutting edge innovation, the F-35A might be a multi-role combat jet prepared to do effectively execute each and every mission, including new missions not generally satisfied by the legacy fighters. There were reports prior that the United States government wanted to gracefully supply F-35 fighter jets to India. The Indian Air Force is in desperate to replace its aging fleet of MAG-21 and 27 squadrons, which are going to retire before 2025, making a colossal gap in its armed stockpile. Report states that the Indian Air Force needs at least 100 fighter jets to renew its arsenal. As per the Lockheed Martin, the F-25 fighter is explicitly designed for the Indian Air Force since it gives unequal make in India opportunities and reinforces India's way to model the air power's future. So what do you think of India is getting into 5th generation fighter jet program very fast and also entering the 6th generation fighter jet program before China and Russia does? India gets its first bunch of Rafale jets and China warns India on banning the Chinese business in India. While the Pakistan is proved about India getting the Rafale jets, India's new bullet trains are going to have seven new routes in coming years.
while India gets its Rafale jets few days before, which landed in the Ambala Air Force Base in India. The delivery of the five jets came at the time where India-China standoff is getting into a two-front battle for India. There are other five jets operated in the France for the training purposes. Out of 36, five delivered and other to come before the end of 2020. The jets has the capabilities to launch the nuclear defense system without entering the enemy border. It can launch up to 150 kilometers and also has the capability of launching air to land and air to air missile capabilities. Now, the delivery of the French Rafale jets to India spoke Pakistan and they are worried about it. Aisha Farooqi, the spokesperson of Pakistan Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said the world community should take note about India's efforts to amass the military capabilities beyond its genuine security requirements. This statement is one of Pakistan's campaigns against India to the world, which PM of Pakistan Imran Khan has started a few days before. As if China, the US and other countries does not have increased their military requirements more than they wanted. In addition to this, India has deployed all of its frontline navy ships to the Indian Ocean with readiness of nuclear capabilities too. China has warned India on the banning of Chinese companies and businesses in India. The Chinese ambassador Sun Waidang said, forced decoupling will only lead to the lose-lose outcomes, while he was addressing a webinar in the Chinese Institute. According to the former Air Chief Marshal of India, Birender Singh said while talking to the Hindustan Times, China cannot outgun India in any situations, even if they attack our bases. They cannot keep any of our Air Force bases shut down for 24 hours. For that, they need so much firepower missiles of 666 at least, while the Chinese total missile power is around 1000 to 1200. Even he said Indian Air Force can hover over Tibet border and enter China's Han province too. The Rafale and the Sukhai jets has the total capabilities of that. So what do you think of China wants India while well, Pakistan is spooked about Rafale landing in India? Will the Indian Air Force cross border the Chinese occupied Tibet and reach Han if the situation moves the other way? Thank you.